Sebi, tell us, who are you? Yeah, my name is Suzuki. And uh, you're the founder and CEO, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then <laughs> right here is, uh, this is the product that you're doing. You just dock it on. Yeah. <laughs> Right there. So hi, so who are you? I'm Paul Whitney, VP of As Reader. So we're using phones as a reader. And uh, what he just showed you there is that it connects with a magnetic connection. There's no Bluetooth. It's instantaneous, no pairing. You have now, a case for the phone? Any, absolutely. Any iPhone? Any size iPhone, also Androids, although they're custom made for yeah. each uh, model as, yeah. as needed. But everything from the iPod Touch all the way up to the 7 Plus, and everything in between, as well as iPad Air 2 and the Pro 9.7. So this product you can yes. go around, you scan, exactly. what do you scan? Exactly. So you can scan for any regular RFID tag, and as you scan, you can actually find the location in X, Y, and Z. So you can go up and down and turn around to find exactly what you're looking for as a group or an individual product. So let's say you have mm -hmm. a store with thousands of people. Exactly. How can you find what you want? You can do it with this at a 10 meter read range, and this will actually tell you the location in X, Y, Z coordinates within a centimeter at a 10 meter range. So that's uh, useful? Yes, very. For people that need to find something? Absolutely, or find a group of things, or find a uh, exception. Sometimes you want to find something that doesn't belong there. You can do that as well. And you know, all RFID readers have a Geiger counter that did, 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 did find it but I've never seen one that can do it within a centimeter with the XYZ coordinate. So this is so. the fastest way to find something in the orange? I believe so, yeah. I think I can't think of a faster way for sure. <laughs> uh, so uh, this mass production right now? Yes, it is. So what you saw at uh, IoT yeah. in uh, Santa Clara was a prototype, and now we've got the full production model here. You charge it here, and that charges all the way through and charges the phone as well at the same time. Can you show how you charge? Sure, so here's our charging system. And that just charges the device. So you put a cable Even on there? Here. That's easy. And as soon as you do, it's charging connection. there. Oh. Now you see it's you charging saw, here. That's so beautiful. Yeah. It's charging all through. I can move all the way through. This. And remember, this is just like a One USB user, cable. This, cool. we'll move it's a USB 2.0. Nice. So the same data pass through, nice, yeah. fast. No more uh, bottlenecking because of the connection. So yeah. Uh, the next step, are you going to make a, a custom Android phone that has it built in? We, we, we <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not building Android phones, but we can build them for Android phones. Absolutely. Yeah, we do, we do a lot of uh, specialty custom designs for a lot of different customers. We do a lot of work for Toyota, including wearables and things like that as well. So. Cool, yeah. That connector is very, very nice. Uh, it is. It's very nice. All sales across uh, right here, easy Europe, connection. Middle East, and Africa. And so. you can dock a bigger size also. And, and you can see how strong it is now too. Yeah, so the magnetic connected. connection's even stronger than you right saw here's before. Here's the bigger phone right there. Yeah. And what what do you put in the case it's here? Right. So this is called the Asring Plus, and that's the connector. So that's uh, what allows you to do that connection. And what's inside it is what goes to the hardware. So this is a lightning connector. Right. So that's why it's all hardwired, and there's no Bluetooth. So I guess. Okay. Yeah. So there's no interference. Interference? No, it's good. We, um, it's all, it's all certified FCC and Etsy. Um, all of our other products are MFI certified. This one isn't yet, but we will. <laughs> we work closely with Apple on all the devices we make to make sure that they get MFI certified. And uh, so mass production. The yes. Uh, so this one is fifteen hundred with the barcode, or thirteen hundred US dollars without the barcode. And you know, for customers who only need say a hundred barcodes a day or less then they can just use the camera and get a couple barcodes here and there. But if you're doing 10, 50,000 barcodes a day, then you want to use a professional barcode scanner. And we offer this one with the laser. We also have CCD versions if people don't want the lasers. Uh, some people have concerns about eyes and that sort of thing. So we do both. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and uh, it just works with any RFID inventory. Yes, any, any UHF RFID tag. We, we have another reader that works with HF tags, so like a NFC and, and some other tags that are in that bandwidth, the 13.56. Um, but these these are all set up for uh, the EU bandwidth and the US bandwidth for UHF. And your headquarters? Uh, headquarters is in Osaka, Japan with uh, Suzuki-san. And then uh, we also have a sales office in Tokyo. And uh, I'm in the California office in the USA. And uh, Mark back here is in London in the UK. So. 